on a frozen mountainside, an austere door leads deep underground. This tunnel is about 120 meters long. Scientists call it a global seed deposit, but to many it's known simply as the doomsday vault. Deep below the permafrost, the temperature's constantly below zero. M most of the seeds in the vault is packed in uh, aluminium bags like this. Mm -hmm. the seeds are Renowned dried. Norwegian biologist Osman Ostal explains how the seeds are stored. Like mm -hmm. The seeds are dried mm -hmm. down to uh, approximately 5% moisture and it's packed and sealed. Mm -hmm. And when uh, seeds are packed and dried as this, uh, they can stand the freezing process. Behind this door, the samples are frozen to minus 18 degrees Celsius. Just about every known crop is here. 860,000 samples deposited for safekeeping by nearly every nation in the world. Countries that are not the best friends outside this vault, they are the best friends here and uh, collaborate in this uh, international effort to really uh, conserve this diversity of crops. So here you find seeds from Ukraine, Russia, you find from North and South Korea, you find from poor countries, rich countries. They agree that this is a very important effort. The vault's designed to protect vital foods from disease, natural disasters and conflict. Last year, biologists made the first major withdrawal of samples native to war-torn Syria, strains vital for the creation of drought and heat-resistant wheat. Up until last September, these shelves were full of boxes with thousands of seeds from Syria. Ikada is the main seed bank operating out of the city of Aleppo. But last year, Syria asked for a third of its samples to be returned. The seeds have been taken to Morocco and Lebanon to allow the scientists to continue their work, distributing samples to farmers across the Middle East. The seed vault houses 13,000 years of agricultural civilization in a land of perpetual winter. The ultimate insurance policy for humanity's survival. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Svalbard in the high Arctic.